digs in five. Amber Anning of Arkansas in lane six. Which is an advantage for Diggs. She gives somebody to focus on this first hundred meters. Diggs second from the left of your screen. And the goal has got to be get to that pole first clean. Do not break stride. And Talitha Diggs was sure to get there because Amber Anning, she runs a little bit different style of race. She hangs back and then she builds on the second lap. But Talitha Diggs looks good right now, but she has not shaken Amber Anning. Diggs has got to go faster than 51-64 if she wants to win this title. And Anning is right there. But Diggs has the turnover. Talitha Diggs digging hard for that line. 50.16, 50-15 corrected. That is a new collegiate le leader and a collegiate record, 50-15, breaking Kendall Ellis's record from five years ago. So she didn't just win it, she won it with style. 50-68 for Amber Anning, a fine run for the Brit and Arkansas. Well, she's a big time performer. Steps up when the lights are the brightest. 50-15, she not only beat that national record, she absolutely decimated it. And what a great finish, that last 100 meters. She was fighting it, that last 50, but she managed to hold it together. And that's what 400 meter running is all about. When it hurts the worst, when you're the most tired, can you continue to make your levers work? Here we get a chance to see her on the back straight. She passes by the pole vault pit and concern, a little bit of concern with 100 meters to go. She knew she was going to have to dig down deep, but this is what she does. And with 50 meters to go, she almost looked like she even changed gears and went to another level. So that 50-15 is a collegiate record and it's number 10 on the all-time list in the 400 meters. Amber Anning with a fine time in second. She gets second overall, and Tierra Robinson-Jones gets third overall with that 51-27, but it is all to lead the digs in that 400, and she is with John. I am with the new collegiate record holder. How does it sound to be the new collegiate record holder? It's a dream come true. When I was nine years old, I watched Francina McCrory run 50.5, and I knew I wanted to do that. I wanted that record, and I got it. This meet before, both indoor and outdoor, you hadn't won. You come back and won at Nationals. I mentioned that to you yesterday. You gave me a death stare like that was not a good thing to talk about. Uh, but what did it mean to win this meet? Because it's new. Man, you know, I give all glory to God. I worked so hard. I put so much effort into this. I just trusted my coaches, trusted myself, and I did it. Let's talk experience. What's it like to come back here and run in this meet having a world championship gold medal? It's so worth it. Just to be in this atmosphere, be with these great competitors, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, Dwight, back up to you. I'm just going to stand here and just in the aura for a while to leave the digs because it's awesome. All right, John. Well, Rashid, it 